you all know that I am an iPad first user, which means that pretty much anything I'm doing is on my iPad if I can possibly get it done. So that has led me in a few instances to look at stabilizing video on my iPad. That's going to be our topic today. So stabilizing video, as I did some research, I looked up a lot of apps and there were probably five or six choices that seemed okay at first, first glance. And what it really came down to is a lot of them got terrible reviews. And the more I looked, the more that they all looked terrible. So it came down to about two options. One was D shake and one was Emulsio. Um, that might be wrong, but that's how I'm going to say it. And th those two. Now, unfortunately, out of those two, I have delayed this for like two months to try and talk to D shake about, hey, it continues to crash. I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, one terabyte. So it's got the most RAM. It's like the biggest, bestest one you could get. It's got like hundreds of gigabytes of extra storage in it. It's like there's just nothing that's really handicapping it. And despite even trimming my video clips down, right? I did some 30 second clips and I did like a long 24 minute clip, but I actually never did the 24 minute clip in D shake because it always crashed. You would try to take a screenshot after it would just crash the whole system. The whole UI would crash with D shake. So it doesn't work. Unfortunately, I've got another request out to them, like saying, Hey, it still is like this. And there's said, Hey, just hang on. Let me see if we can fix it again. Send in more crash reports. The fact is right now, D shake just crashes on me all the time. I did use it probably two years ago on my 9.7 inch iPad pro. And my impressions from remembering from that is, and memory is fallible. It was that it was slow. It did a decent job, but it was slow. Uh, it took a long time to bring in the clip and analyze it. And then it took a long time to export, like almost one to one uh, is what I remember. Um, I can't try it now, so I can't tell you anything about else. What I do remember as soon as I used Emulsio uh, in December earlier, um, I was like, whoa, that was so fast because it really is that fast. Um, so what I did with one 30 second clip was I write two 30 second clips, one coming out of my 90D, uh, 4K 90D and one coming out of a GoPro Hero 7 Black with their stabilization on as well, uh, running footage. And both of them took, you know, 15 to 16 seconds to export. So a 30 minute clip came out in 15 to 30 second clip. <laughs> a 30 second clip came out in 15 to 16 seconds. And the stabilization was good. You'll see them up uh, here. You, you know, you'll see them and I'll label them for you. So you can see like, here's the original and here is the stabilized version of them. And so even with the 24 minute clip, which, which was uh, me running down a mountain, I just handheld with the GoPro, it has stabilization on, it took about 12 minutes for it to export. And so 24 minutes down to 12. So it's about half the time. Um, now it does come up with a smaller file. My 24 minute clip was nine gig at full 4k coming out of uh, my GoPro. And then it came out uh, of a Malcio at about four gigs. So I'm losing about half of the data in there. Um, to the stabilization process. I still think the quality looks good. It still looks nice on my uh, LG 4K monitor. I, so I can't actually tell. Um, even with reading glasses on, I have a small, slight prescription 0.5, um, but I can't tell the difference. It's really good. Now, when you use a Malcio, there's a bunch of settings you can do as far as like if it's stabilizing side to side, top to bottom, rotationally, there's a whole bunch of different settings you can play with in there. I am not uh, equipped to judge them in many ways. I played with them a little bit. I didn't notice a huge difference in them. I just left it with its full settings on. It gives you settings uh, specifically for your camera. If you want to look at rolling shutter, other things like that, where you can like save the setting for your camera. It has a couple presets for uh, phones um, so that you don't have to set it if you already know, if it already knows about it. But I could say save a setting for my uh, 90D and then have it set it just like that to take out any rolling shutter. I didn't do that because I didn't find I needed to with the GoPro footage, which is what I really tested that on. But it has all the settings if you need them. And I didn't export, you know, playing with settings multiple times. Export time didn't really change no matter what setting I put on. So that's good to know. So all in all, I think Emulsio is a good option. Uh, I like it. I will continue to use that when I need to stabilize footage. Um, also knowing that the best way to get stable footage is to take stable footage. So instead of you know going handheld with my GoPro, I could put it on a selfie stick. Again, that always seems like a lame word to me, but selfie stick. And that would give me some stabilization. Putting on the gimbal would be even more. Or going with something, uh, was it the DJI has a little tiny 4K camera that has a gimbal built in. Um, that come, you can put in a waterproof case that would like fit in your pocket. So going with uh, their 4K camera, I'll put the name of it down here because I don't remember it right now. So taking stable footage is going to be your first key to having stable footage. Um, but if you need to stabilize it after, Emulsio does a decent job. I'm not sure how it compares to some of like the Mac OS or the high-end tools because I don't have them. Um, I do feel like there is more room for things like this 
on your iPad though. As people do more iPad stuff, as LumaFusion becomes a better and better um, editor, a video editor uh, that more professionals can use, then I think that we're going to need to see some of these other tools come alongside to really kick it over. Like LumaFusion could be, you know, there ready to go for professionals, but if it doesn't have some of these other tools like the destabilizing, some of the other high-end tools that I hear people talking about on different YouTube videos, then you're still going to be handicapped by it. But if you're just looking for stable footage, Emulsio is great. It's fast. I tried it on my wife's 9.7 inch iPad. It took a little bit longer. Uh, it's an iPad Pro. It's an old, the older one. Uh, it took a little bit longer, but it didn't, it wasn't terrible by any means. And yeah, it worked really good. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up at the bottom. If you loved it, I guess you can subscribe. Don't hit the stupid bell because you have better things to do than just, you know, watch a notification for when I might post a video. Yeah, watch it during your YouTube time every week, every day, whatever you do. Uh, if you want to support me, if you want to see more videos like this, more videos about books, uh, about other stuff, then you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where for as little as $5, you can help me do that. Maybe I'll buy more beard products. No, I won't actually. That's way too much work for me. But I will have more time to read, to do more research into these videos and produce them for you. Have a good one.